How did you enjoy the concert last night, Rick? I enjoyed it very much indeed. I, especially the, I can honestly say out of the two, two and a half years I've been in the band, that's the, um, perhaps the nicest concert and, and had so much in it. The best I think we've played for an awful long time. I mean, there were mistakes. We always make mistakes. Everybody does. But uh, the highlights, you know, more than sort of uh, discounted against that. Is it a difficult gig to do, Dave, Madison Square Gardens? Because it's so big, isn't it? It's not really any bigger than any other place, is it, really? It's no bigger than Spectrum or the It didn't seem any bigger to me than anywhere well, else. The first time I saw it, yeah. it seemed enormous to me. But I think when it was full, I mean, we couldn't really see it. You know, we didn't see it with the house lights on with everybody in. And that's really when you can tell how, just how big a place is. I think it's just that bit bigger, maybe. Yeah. It's the yeah. same size as the forums. And it's really nice doing that size arena, because, yeah. uh, especially with the PA hoisted in the ceiling. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. England, you know, could do with a lot of space I'm surprised space everybody's like that. Com complained about the sound in there, because I thought the sound was, was really yeah. good. Yeah. Everybody says... It was told us before, oh, never don't do Madison, it sounds really bad. Mm. It is a big tour this time, isn't it? Yeah. How many gigs is it in all? 42, is it? Is it 42? 42, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, about 44, 45 days. Mm. We actually did a double, which was yeah. quite amazing, an afternoon, that same concert, really? that three hour concert in the afternoon, and then we did it same again in the evening at the Spectrum. That was a killer. It was a good, good yeah. gig, fantastic gig, but a killer. Yeah. Yeah. Does it take you very long to get into the rhythm of the tour, Steve? When you have, when you've only been off the road for a month or so, it's quite easy, really. A couple of days, and you, you know, it starts to come back. But uh, if you've been in the studio for seven, seven months or something, it, or you've been off the road for seven months, it took us a, a bit longer in the English tour. But we had uh, a good week of rehearsal before it, so it did help to uh, lessen the impact because um, you come off stage and you just feel dead, you know, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> How many people have you got on the road? Uh, there's 22 in the road crew, um, which is uh, made up, each sort of person has got their own specific job to do. For example, there's a couple of people who look after Steve, a couple who look after the keyboards, a couple who look after the drums, and there's a whole crew who look after the scenery, and a whole crew who look after the lighting, and a whole crew who look after the sound. So uh, I say it's, we've got 22 in the crew, but each person has their own specific mm -hmm. job to do, which helps the whole thing to run, hopefully smoothly. Because it's a must be, well, we had 14 tonne on the English tour, we must have more mm. than that now. We've got three here. huge trucks. Yeah, we've got three huge 30-foot trucks taking everything around. There must be They're close on 20 machines. tonnes worth of stuff. And to, to shovel that around America day after day and, and make well, help the, everything to stand up and be prepared it takes a lot of doing. How long did it take to set this tour up? All the time, really, we were thinking about it from... Uh, this tour we should have been doing in October, but due to the, pre you know, the, the time we took in doing the album, so we almost thought about it once, then we had to postpone it, and we were really upset. So we th it had a lot of thought put into it by getting cancelled, repositioned, rerouted. I think it's the best tour, you know, it's the most tight, tightest tour we've mm. done. It's very well routed, because all the, all the equipment has to go by road, uh, because we won't, let, won't fly it, because with all due respect to the American Airlines, they, uh, they don't, unfortunately, they have different meanings for different words, like our idea of fragile, this way, this way up in England means... Uh, handle with care and please hold it this way up. In America it normally means please turn sideways and drop out the aeroplane. <laughs> so, so we send everything by road. It's uh, quite exciting trying to put on a show like we do and try to do it every night. Because mm -hmm. it is basically the same show as you were doing on the English tour, isn't it? It's the same show. Mm -hmm. uh, the sad thing is that every time you play something things improve and the music gets better. You find new things to play. Uh, things that perhaps you wanted to do on, on the album and or things that uh, I mean, there's going to be things perhaps in six months' time that I'll be, be playing on it that I wish I could be playing now. Mm. So the more gigs you do, obviously, the better things get. All the harmonies get yeah. snappy. Because it's a very long set, isn't it, two, three hours? Yeah. Three hours, yeah. And very complex, too, to say yeah. the least. I mean, do you have concentration problems on stage? Uh, only the first number, really. When my concentration's changing from being in a dressing room for an hour and being on stage, I flash between things. I don't really think about concentrating. I don't really have time to think about it. How do you concentrate and play Rachmaninoff with a glass of beer in your hand? Oh. <laughs> you do that the other day. Huh? How I did it. It's, a, it's, <laughs> quite, it's quite funny. <laughs> uh, the c concentrate. I, I don't really think about concentrating because you've got so many things to do. Uh, you, you're getting almost to a, not only a musical routine but a mechanical routine uh, in as much as when you're playing, 
you know you've got a 10 second gap where you're not playing at all. And in that 10 seconds you have to prepare, say, the moves on the Bellatrons for the next time that they come in. Mm. And so this, it's a sort of mechanical concentration, if anything, as regards things like that. A, you get the terrible problem sometimes where you've got a 10 minute gap, te or 10 second gap where you're not playing and you think, well, and you know that you should be doing something, even though you're not playing, you know you should be setting something up. Then you remember halfway through the next bit that you should have, you should have set the move to another setting. You know mm. it's not right. Mm. There's not going to be a yes album this year, is there? Uh, there yeah, is. I think so. But there is going to be. It's in the offering, you yeah. know, there's ideas. We're, we're, we're talking about are. it at the moment. We, there's nothing, nothing finalised or, f or heavily formatted yet. Mm. What but about your own album, Rick? Um, well, I was hoping that... I, mean, I mixed it before I came away, and uh, I, we had some trouble with the cut, and uh, they were going to send me the cut over to New York to listen to, to what mm. I thought. It hasn't arrived, so I, I, what I've got to do in the next few days is phone up and find out you know, what happened to it or whether the cut eventually got a good one or not. Because mm. Paul Tregurtha, who engineered it and mixed it, you know, said that he wasn't very happy with the cut mm. at all. Very critical, isn't it, the cut? Mm. Mm. It's more important almost than the mix, to sit Well, not really. If it, it's as important as the mix. Yeah. Because it's the final stage and the most important stage. Yeah. There's so many records being ruined by bad cuts, not by bad mixes. Yeah. If you want it to sound like a dance set, you know, mm. on a dance set or a good set, you know. <laughs> the it's cut really, can really do is it. critical. So, what's happening at the end of the tour now, the American tour? End of the American tour. Uh, I go home and try and persuade my wife to get rid of the new dog she's bought, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I think we're having a few weeks off. Yeah, I mean, go have a rest. You might t do some right, touring. Well, in I'm, in, I'm in the studio with you. Right. With yeah, Wally. Good. With Wally, yeah. Yeah. Should be fun. Hey, Should bro. be really good. Mm. Okay, Rick, Steve, thanks All very right. much. Thanks very much. Okay.